You guys, it's here, it's happening. ColourPop and Alice in Wonderland collaboration. Let's get into it. Here is the fun little poster they sent over. It says Lost in Wonderland, and it says go down the rabbit hole with all new shades for endless looks, and I am so excited about this one. So you guys know I'm a big Disney fan, obviously, and I get so excited for the ColourPop Disney collabs, and Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite movies. I know a lot of people are really excited about this one, and I can't wait to show you guys everything included in this collection. So let's get into it. Okay, we'll start, of course with the eyeshadow palette that we'll be releasing so by the way this is going to be dropping tomorrow ColourPop Thursday they always do new launches on Thursday it will drop on their website at 10 a.m. PST as always I always know it's noon my time so if you're in the central time zone so here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. They really killed the packaging. I feel like they always do such a good job with their collaborations, especially the Disney ones. This is just so cool. It has the keyhole here with Alice kind of falling down into Wonderland. And it has this really pretty like holographic colors going on. It's so cool. So this is the Lost in Wonderland palette here. And then it looks like this. You open it up on this side and then you have your colors. There is no mirror this time, but it does have a bunch of different Alice figures on the inside. A little holographic moment there. And yeah, your shades. So let's go ahead and actually swatch these together. This does remind me of more of like a pastel palette, which I think is perfect for spring. They really focus on some hints of blue, green. They went very psychedelic with like the metallics in here. There's some fun shifty shades. So they definitely took it in a direction that I think is very wearable. They could have done, you know, bright yellow, bright blue, but it kind of probably would have looked similar to like the Snow White palette. So I'm really loving the direction they went here. But yeah, let's swatch it. First shade we have is this fun shifty shimmer. This one is called Down the Rabbit Hole. And this one is absolutely stunning. I feel like I'm going to love this. This is like mermaid vibes. It's blue green kind of shift. They probably could have saved this one for an aerial palette, but still this is stunning. Next up we have one of their glitters. This is a pearl glitter called I'm Late. So they did reformulate their glitters. They're not as chunky as they used to be. You can smooth them out on the skin and wear them all along the lid, but you can also add them for like an extra glittery effect, just lightly pressed down. And then we have another fun shifty shimmer. This one is called Very Merry on Birthday, and this is like a blue, purple, pearly shift. I love this first row. Absolutely beautiful colors. Okay, next row we have some more matte shades. This first one is a matte peach called That's Logic and it looks like this. Next we have a matte periwinkle blue. This is Curiouser and Curiouser. Next we have this lavender shade called Talking Flowers. All these shades just look so beautiful together. I love this color story. We have this fun sage green. This is Mad Tea Party. This palette is just giving me aerial vibes too. I don't know. They have this fun, again, mermaid shade. This one is Stark... wait. This is Stark Raving Mad. That one is beautiful. Next we have like this cool toned taupe. This is called That Way. My swatches are going kind of crooked here. I'm not always the best at doing swatches. Next we have um, next we have another shifty color. This is a purple blue shift called AEIOU, which looks like this. And then we have this kind of black with glitter. It has multicolored glitter. This is Nothing's Impossible. So you can kind of see the glitter, but mostly you're not going to get like a ton of color, like sparkle with that one. And the last shade is this brighter glitter. This one is called Lose Something. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ah. So yeah, this is the color scheme. That one seems so dark compared to the other shimmers, but I think this is absolutely beautiful. The palette is going to be $22. Next in the collection, we have a few really fun shadow sticks. I don't typically get excited for these, but I think these have gorgeous, again, very shifty colors. So let me go ahead and swatch these. The first one we have Alice on the packaging, and this is called Full of Wonder, and this is a very pretty pearlescent lavender. It's so stunning. 
The next one has the Cheshire Cat on it. This one's called Not All There. By the way, these do have little hints of the characters on them too on the lids, which is fun. And this one's kind of like a berry color. So this is going to actually go really well with that last shade in the palette. It doesn't have as much iridescence as the first one. And then we have the Mad Hatter here. And this is called Care for Tea. And the packaging has little teapots on it. And it's a really pretty kind of, it's almost emerald green in a way. It's very shimmery though. That's really pretty too. But definitely the one that Alice has is my favorite. It's so pretty. We have two blushes in this collection, two powder blushes. So the first one has, again, the little keyhole with Alice. This is called Oh Dear. Such fun packaging though. Oh my gosh, they really killed the packaging on this one. Even the back has little details on it. And then this is the color. This is such a pretty mid-tone pink. And the inside says time can be funny in dreams. This leans a little bit more on the warm side, but it's such a pretty color. And then we have the Queen of Hearts here. So she has a little heart keyhole. So we have the Queen of Heart with a deck of cards. And then here is the back. So cute. And then, of course, hers is like this bright red. And on the inside, it says off with their heads. Of course, I mean, something has to be called that. This is such a pretty, like, strawberry blush. I feel like that's going to be gorgeous on the cheeks. Okay, lip products. We have two lip sets, again, with the Queen of Hearts and Alice. Alice's set is called Topsy Turvy. It comes with a lipstick and a lip gloss. Here is the packaging. The lipstick is called Most Curious. It's one of their Lux lipsticks. This is such a unique shade. It's like a poppy pinky red. And then we have a Lux lip gloss called Total Nonsense. Let me see if I could get an accurate swatch because I had put it over my lip color before. So it's showing up a little pinker than it is. So just ignore that. But this is the most true swatch. Ignore that. But yeah, that's the gloss. And then here's the Queen of Hearts one. So this is a red color. This is called My Ways. And yeah, it's like a true red. And then the lip gloss, this is called Croquet Queen. Or is it Croquette? Croquette? That's like a game. This is kind of fun. It's like a... This almost comes off gray on the hand. It's like a burgundy lip gloss. But yeah, it looks gray. But in here, it's a very dark, sparkly, burgundy shade. And then there is another lip product. This is probably going to be my favorite. This is the Birthday Cake Overnight Lip Mask. Love the packaging here. It's called Pure Madness. And it does smell like birthday cake, you guys. Uh, so cute. So it's in the shape of a little mushroom. And it says, who are you on it? And it looks like this. It does come with a little scoop, too. So you don't have to use your fingers. But so adorable it smells just like birthday cake and there is one more extra i'm so excited about this one so this is actually a pocket hair brush instead of like a pocket watch so cute you guys i still have my little heart color pop brush that they had in one of their valentine's collections i think and i use it seriously all the time but yeah it's in the shape of a little clock it has a keychain and everything Let's see, how does this open? Oh, okay, so it pops up like this. It says late for everything here. And you pop out the brush like so. And then you just kind of have a little to-go brush. It's a little noisy. <laughs> but I always love when they do little extras like this. It's just so stinking cute. So then you pop that back in and you can shut it and just always have that in your purse. So how cute is that? That's the entire Alice in Wonderland ColourPop collection. So I am going to be sharing how I did this look today. Let's get into it. Okay guys, let's start off today's look with the lip mask. This is just so stinking cute. So this is the birthday cake overnight lip mask called Pure Madness. Oh my gosh. It does come with a little applicator too. I know this is going to sell out because if you guys remember the uh, Winnie the Pooh little honey pots, I feel like that's going to be the same situation, especially for a birthday cake scent. And I love their lip masks. I especially just even like to wear them as balm and this smells literally incredible. So that's obviously going to be a must of the collection. But I wanted to put that on just to moisturize our lips ahead of time but you can see it offers a little bit of color too it's so nice i love their lip mask and that one is just 
the cutest. Okay, now let's get into the palette here, the Lost in Wonderland palette. Okay, so I wanna do something really fun and pastel for spring here to test it out. Let's see what we come up with. I am going to start with the Curiouser and Curiouser shade in the palette. Um, I'm using Angie's brushes, Angelica Nikfis Singe Beauty brushes. This is the E02. We're going to dip into this and place this in the crease. And I'm going to try and concentrate it on the outer section here. This one does take a bit of building to really get some color because it's pretty light in tone. I'm going to try and bring that up above the crease, kind of getting closer to the brow bone just to make sure that it's going to show with my eyes open. Okay, next I'm using the Singe Beauty E04 brush and I'm going to go into, this one is Talking Flowers. And I want to place this kind of in this outer portion of the eye. Just kind of placing it mostly on the lid and building into the middle section. Okay, next I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go into Very Merry on Birthday. This is such a fun like chrome shifty color and I'm placing this here on the lid. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. And I think I'm actually going to dip into this glitter here too. This one is I'm Late. And I'm going to lightly press this on as well over top of that. This is a little bit more chunky, so I'm just kind of placing this sporadically all over the lid. And then it'll just have hints of sparkle all over. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to use a little bit of Nothing's Impossible. I'm going to actually wet my brush for this one because I don't want to get any fallout from that. And we're going to just lightly draw this along. Just to add a little bit of smokiness. And then I'm actually going to dip into this color, which is A-E-I-O-U, and put that over top of it. I'm going to add a little bit of this color stick. How pretty is this? This is the color Full of Wonder. And I use these for eyeliners. So I'm just using this all along the lower lash line here. You can also use them as a cream shadow all over the lid. But this is really going to give that holographic effect. That would actually be so pretty under that lid color we used. That definitely got a little messy, but no worries because we can always clean up with a concealer. Just applied bronzer and some lashes. For the blush, I'm gonna go in with this one, which is Oh Dear, cause it's pink and I just feel like it's gonna match our eyes the, met, the best. We're gonna dip in and apply to the cheeks. I feel like ColourPop has come out with so many like really pretty pink blushes. And this one, I feel like it might be one of my favorites because it's not super, super cool toned, it's just like a natural pink and I feel like it has a good medium pigmentation. Really love that color a lot. I'm surprised there's not a highlight in this collection, but I guess we'll move on to the lips. Looks like there's one for Queen of Hearts and Alice, so I'm guessing Alice is probably the one we're going to use because Queen of Hearts is probably red and that might clash a little bit. So this is the Topsy Turvy little kit. And it comes with a couple products here, the Most Curious Luxe Lipstick and the Total Nonsense Lip Gloss. So the lipstick is kind of a bright pinky red. So let's try this lip liner. I don't know if this is going to look good. I really don't wear a lot of pinks or berries, so let's see how this looks on the lips. Oh wow, that's like coral. <laughs> This is such an interesting color. It's like bright, almost pinky, coral, leaning red. I don't even know how to describe it. Let's go on top of that with this Lux lip gloss. This adds a little dimension. Some pink sparkle. And I guess that is the look, you guys. It does actually match my shirt really well, I will say. This is a little more hot pink but very matchy-matchy. So here's the look. Let's get into my final thoughts. 
Okay, for my final thoughts here, overall this collection is honestly so cute. The packaging is so good and I feel like they have a nice variety of stuff to go with the collection. The only thing I wish they did was like a fun colored highlighter. I think that would have been cool, but I really enjoy everything included. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. This is definitely more of a pastel palette in my opinion. Definitely took some building to get more opacity from the shades. Um, a lot of you guys were actually saying this reminds you of a mini Aurora Struck palette, which I think is totally true, but I love the color scheme. I don't know if it necessarily reminds me of the movie, but I think it's just very pretty and perfect for the spring time I think I will get a lot of use out of it and I especially love the shimmers in this palette they're to die for like this color that I use on my lid like seriously made the palette for me and swatching that blue there I can definitely picture all the fun and like shifty looks I can do with this palette for the spring and I did pull some palettes again that it reminds me of so first of all a lot of you guys were saying Aurora Struck it is definitely a condensed version of Aurora Struck and you definitely have these kind of shades if you do have Aurora Struck because this one also has like the fun shifty colors in it mm, I kind of want to swatch some of these okay let's see how this one from the Alice palette compares to Aurora Struck. So this is very merry on birthday. Let's swatch it next to, I think this is Boralis is the name from Aurora Struck and they are pretty similar you guys. Like I really don't think you need both. Okay, let's, the blue is a little bit different. Let's swatch this blue. This one's a little more unique down the rabbit hole. Let's swatch it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have an exact match, but let me swatch it next to this green. I feel like this is going to be more green. No, this one is Arctic Fox. They are definitely close though, you guys. If you have Aurora Struck, you definitely do not need this palette if you do not want repeat shades. Um, but if you always have kind of wanted this palette, but it's just too many colors for you, then grab the Alice one. But I know a lot of people are going to be buying this for the packaging and the nostalgia that is goes along with it. But those are just like, they're pretty exact in my opinion. I also pulled my It's a Small World palette. They just gave similar vibes. Um, I do feel like It's a Small World is a little bit more pigmented, but they do definitely remind me of each other. The It's a Small World is not as like shifty as the Alice one is, but they do have similar tones. And then if you guys kind of like these pastels, but you want a little bit more oomph to your shadows, I'm going to recommend the Winx Club palette. If this is still available, I have no idea if it is or not, but these you can get, I feel like, more pigment. But these are pastels technically, so I guess they're not supposed to be super super dark but still I like to only dip in a couple times to get the color that I want and I do feel like this one is a little bit more pigmented so yes that's my thoughts on the palette overall it is really cute but it looks like we may have some duplicates in our collection already these shadow sticks are really fun too I definitely recommend picking up the Alice one this one was full of wonder I just think this is gonna be perfect paired with those tones in the palette to create some gorgeous ethereal looks and then I also really liked the the Mad Hatter one, the brighter green one, Care for Tea. I thought that's such a fun shade too. I'm not really feeling the colors of these lip sets for me personally, but I would say my favorite is definitely Alice's because I just don't wear a lot of reds. This is a really unique color though, and it's probably one you may not have in your collection, so maybe something you do want to try out for something a little bit different because it is a pretty color, and it kind of just like, it looks pink in some lighting. It looks more like poppy colored in some lighting. It is very beautiful. I don't care for the glosses with them just because we have had so many similar glosses to that, especially in like the Aurora Strike collection too. So I don't care for the glosses included, but the lipsticks are quite fun. I do also recommend the blushes. I feel like both of these colors are stunning. If you want something a little bit more unique, go for the one that's the Queen of Hearts, which is Silence. That one's going to be a more unique color. This one, we I, we've probably had similar ones in the past, but I think it's a stunning pink. I'm loving this blush with today's look. The lip mask is also a must have for me. This is the probably number one product I think that would sell out. So I would definitely grab this one if you're interested in it. I mean, I feel like everyone goes crazy for lip balm and this formula from ColourPop is really nice. I forgot to tell the price of this. It is $12 for the lip mask and then I also love the little brush. It is $12 so a little bit expensive for this but I don't know. 
it just it gets me excited I'm more excited about this than some of the lip colors so I'm into it they will have the full collection for 115 there's also gonna be a couple other bundles my code should work on this collection five Leah Janae to save five dollars off of your order I think it's over twenty dollars you have to spend if you guys do shop through my affiliate link or use my code it is always so much appreciated the more you guys use my code I do get sent more PR and of course that means more reviews so that is gonna be it for this video today I forgot to mention my sweatshirt because it actually matches really well with the collection I randomly picked this up from a small boutique I'll link it down below but I feel like they only had mediums left when I bought it and then I don't know if it might have sold out by then but I had to have it it's like a corduroy kind of material but that's gonna be it for this video you guys I'm so excited about the collection I love the look we did today it's perfect for spring thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys will be picking this one up and I'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>